Greetings friends! Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install ACT, Advanced Combat Tracker, and put in the Final Fantasy XIV plugin. What you want to do is go to advancedcombattracker.com or you can also just type it in up here and then click on this. And you want to go to the download tab go to advanced combat tracker setup I obviously already have it so I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna reinstall it again and then it'll pop up here and just double click it and hit run and when you open it, it should bring up a uh, advanced combat tracker let's kinda click through some stuff make sure it works uh, so now what you want to do is you can hit you can just close this out and go back to your download page and you'll want to download this now Final Fantasy 14 parsing plugin well wow, that highlighter really didn't work <laughs> uh, yeah but you'll want to download this I obviously already have it installed so I'm gonna skip this now it'll be in your downloads right here okay so what you want to do is wherever it saves it which is probably going to be your downloads let's go to computer downloads and it should it should be in here so you want to take it and put it on your desktop now you want to open up your computer and wherever your uh, wherever you saved your ACT like for mine uh, for instance mine saved it in uh, programs 86 so you want to double click it and then you want to take that the Final Fantasy 14 ACT plugin and you want to put it right in here so it's inside the folder so it should look like this just grab it and stick it in there alright so now uh, that it's in there you can close this out and reopen this okay now you want to go to plugins browse you want to click this right here and hit open and it should come up down here and then add enable plugin enabled make sure this is checked okay so now what I like to do is I just like to close it out and then reopen it okay so now you should have Final Fantasy 14 overlay and show mini should come up like this well it might come up smaller and in this corner but a black box should come up so now what you want to do is go ahead and start the game yeah as you can see this overlay is gonna stay here like this unless you clicked yours off Um, if you already have the game open, I'm pretty sure that's okay. Uh, I'm almost positive you don't have to close the game. Uh, I like to have it closed, just, you know, why not, I guess. Um, but I have installed ACT with the game open before and it hasn't really messed me up. So, um, if you have the game open, I don't think it's a big, it's a big deal. But if for some reason it is, just close the game and reopen it. Okay. All right. So now that we're in, uh, there's a few things you should check first. You want to go to plugins, Final Fantasy settings, and you want to make sure this parse filter is on either party or alliance, uh, whichever one. If you're in ST or something and want to parse everybody, then go alliance. But uh, I usually just have mine set to party. Uh, and make sure this is checked. Combine pets with owners. Uh, that way for summoners, uh, you're not trying to, you know, add and stuff. Math too hard, you know. <laughs> Just combine pets. Easy. Uh, let's see. Um, so for this right here, 
This is the Final Fantasy XIV overlay settings. Uh, this is the target tab. So like th like so. When you target something, you'll have this uh, pretty cool HP bar right here. And you can uh, increase... Oh man, that's huge. Uh, or decrease the size of it just by holding right click and moving it around. And the same thing for focus target. There should be another bar. You can do the same thing for this. So that looks looks good. Uh, you can change the color, uh, like red, you know, or you know, if you want, like, you know, it's relatively customizable. If you don't want the green HP bar, you want it like blue or something, you can change that. But I usually just leave mine the same. Uh, same for, okay, so focus and target, target, target. All this should be good. You shouldn't have to change any of this. Um, I'll get into some stuff now that you should have to change or you should at least check. You want to first go under the general and where it says number of seconds to wait after the last combat action to begin new encounter. Originally, this is set at like 5 or 6, I think. You want to change this to 25. Uh, well, not necessarily 25. You can change it to 15 or 20, but basically what this means is that whenever the last damage is done, it's going to wait this time limit before it resets the parse. So, like, let's say you're on Twintania or Titan, and you're just going ham, and you're like, you're just blowing it up, right? Like, your DPS is just crazy. Well, once they disappear, if this is set to a low number, such as, like, 6 seconds or seven um, obviously the boss is going to be gone for longer than that so it's going to reset your parse so in that one encounter you may have two to three maybe even four different parses for that one encounter so if you set it at 25 seconds it gives you plenty of time for the boss to disappear and then come back down uh, let's see so that's under general Uh, encounter culling, make sure this is checked. Don't count encounter labeled encounters for the next count. Whoa, that's a lot of counts. One, let's count. One, two, three, four. Oh, man. All right. Um, yeah, you want this checked. Um, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you want this checked too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if this is good, and that's good, and then underneath general, just make sure to change this. That should be it for the main ta uh, the main table and encounters. So now you want to go down to the mini parse window and this is the update the update interval and you can like I like to have mine set at three so I like every three seconds I like this to update down here but you can change it to five or one or you know whatever you want just uh, you know personal preference. Uh, this will change the the transparency. I like to have mine kind of kind of dark, kind of solid. Uh, this will change the fonts. Obviously just left click it and boom. Oblique. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this changes the letter color for for color, changes the background, back color. Now this right here This may be blank for you, and if it is blank, just go ahead and click Add Preset, and it'll bring up all this. So, basically what this is, is this is, this is what your mini parse window is going to look like. So, for example, let me just start parsing. And as you can see, the uh, duration and then the encounter uh, this is the DPS of the total encounter uh, I obviously <laughs> have the highest hit with a 578 storms eye and then this is uh, personal parses so if I had other people in my group they would be down here uh, here's my DPS there's the highest hit all right so let's see now that we got a parse in there Okay, 
Um, now we can change uh, some of the stuff about it. So like let's say uh, go back in here to add preset. So there's a duration if you notice it's right there. Um, and then down here is a formatting example. This is what it should look like. So compared to this, oh, ham touch. Oh, man. So uh, apparently this guy rapes him face with ham touch. Uh, 39,000. That's, uh, that's a pretty big hit there. Um, oh, apparently Devastation Fist was stronger. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so yeah. So like basically the information that's up here and, uh, and down here is uh, this is what it's going to look like. So you can play with this a little bit if you want. Uh, let's say basically all the different options are in this box. So let's say for example that you want the space between the top line here and the parses to be one more down. So what you would do, you would click on new line and then hit append. So now if you notice it pushed that down. So you can remove it. Now it's back to where it was. And you can do this for everything. DPS, uh, hits, misses. Uh, if you're trying to test for accuracy, um, you can put into hit percent or misses. Um, let's say uh, you're trying to flex your e -peen a little bit. Uh, you can put in highest hit, uh, which is right here, max hit. And the overall damage percentage of what each individuals doing will also be in here there's just a million different things you can do to uh, to really customize this so let's see what this is encounter okay let's see remove that append here and then let's say you wanna let's say you don't want this right here so you can move it you can click on it you can move it like so so now you hit add. Yeah, basically once you're done messing with all this, you know you can you, know, you can play with it as much as you want. But uh, hit add text format preset, and it should be in the drop down box. It should be right here, the second one. You'll click on it, and man, this striking dummy is about to get it. <gasps> yeah. Eat it, striking dummy. Give me that mercy stroke. Yeah. Alright, good stuff. Alright, so now, uh, yeah, so basically you got this. Um... And you can always uh, clear the encounter, hit in the encounter immediately, I'm trying to get an accurate parse. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you have any further questions, just uh, leave me a comment below, and uh, I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks, guys.